So hello and welcome back to Genuine Tutorial and for today's video, we will going to talk about the function of a right triangle. One of my observation here in my channel is some of the students are asking if how these trigonometric identities become another term. So today, I decided to make a video in relation to trigonometric identities or in relation to the conversion or the equivalent of these or those trigonometric identities. First on the list is the function of the right triangle, also known as the mnemonic Mnemonic Soka Towa. But before that, don't forget to click the like, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell for you to be notified in our latest and future uploads. Okay. We have a right triangle here. When we say right triangle, it has a one of the side or one side of this triangle has a 90 degree. Okay. We have the opposite here, the adjacent and the hypotenuse. The opposite is the vertical length of this triangle. We have adjacent. This is the horizontal length of this triangle and we have the hypotenuse which is the slant length or slant side of this triangle let's talk about the saw first s o h sin theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse we have the ka c a h meaning cosine theta is equal to the adjacent over hypotenuse we have the last one is the towa t o a tangent theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent okay let's try this uh, mnemonic to a certain problem here let's try this problem we have a certain triangle here it is a right triangle okay. the requirement is to determine the adjacent and hypotenuse using these two givens we have the opposite given and the and the angle so under the sokatoa we can uh, we can easily solve for the hypotenuse of the set problem and the adjacent using the so and the tangent or the toa okay let's try first the toa Towa. that is equal to tangent theta or theta here or the degree is equal to 35 degree is equal to opposite opposite is equal to 10 meters over the adjacent this is the adjacent this is the hypotenuse adjacent okay so based on this equation we can say that adjacent is equal to 10 over tangent theta or tangent 35 which is equal to is equal to 14.281 meters okay so this is the adjacent so next is the hypotenuse okay for the hypotenuse we will using the the so or the sine theta is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. So, okay, sine theta or sine 35 is equal to the opposite, 10 meters, all over by the h. So, from this equation, we can see that this is equal to or the h is equal to 10 over sine 35 okay so so 10 over sine 35 will give us 17.43 4 meters so this is the hypotenuse okay since the requirements are already obtained so let's move on in another example okay in our next example we have this problem okay in this example we are required to determine the theta and the hypotenuse okay in this triangle it is also a right triangle okay we have only two givens we have the opposite and adjacent okay so from this given uh, we can easily solve for the angle using the towa the mnemonic towa okay we have the tangent theta where the theta is the unknown is equal to opposite is 15 over the adjacent is 20 so the theta is equal to arctan 15 over 20 or we can say that the theta is equal to the arctan 3 over 4 or 3 4 which clearly give us 
the orthon of three-fourth is equal to 36.87 degree. Okay? So, using the mnemonics again, but the hypotenuse is solvable using the Pythagorean theorem. So, by the use of the Sokatoa or let's say Ka, since the adjustment is given and we have the angle now, we can easily solve for the hypotenuse. We have cosine theta, which the theta is equal to 36. 0.87 is equal to A is the adjacent 20 over H where the H from this equation is equal to 20 over cosine 36.87 so the hypotenuse H is equal to 20 over cosine 30.87 which clearly give us a value of 25 meters so that's it for today and see you in our next videos goodbye